What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Man Guide. Let's get straight into it. I had two guys call in. They work at DNA testing centers. One guy had to quit. One guy still works there. He told me 40% of the children are not the man's child. 40%. 40%. He said 40%. Somebody cool and Corey. it's usually Make DNA testing it's, it, and it's two, mandatory. It's two scenarios. It's where the woman, they, the person's getting a DNA test because the woman claims that is their child. Turns out it's not. The other mm. one is where the parent is on the deathbed and makes a confession. Oh. Or they need a health, they need a liver transplant, blood transplant fusion in the blood type there's no way that that can actually be the father so then they find out that because of medical reasons you mean that's not my father then the father finds out from that way he said it took such a toll on him that he could no longer do it because he would be sitting on the phone wow. counseling the men and the grown children who these women falsely accused my heart goes can you out. imagine dude this is why i think mandatory dna testing at birth mandatory let me know let me know chat what do you guys think i think that it should be mandatory as soon as that baby's popped out the womb we need a dna test to find out who the father is because that is unreal 40 percent that's a very large percentage i could explain to anybody how lonely pregnancy oh. is oh. i i can't put it into words but you sure could put something in you shots fired shots fired <laughs> you can't put it into words but somebody sure did put something in you i'm just so like frustrated with how i feel and it's what if i told you it is weird that you feel lonely during an event in your life that took two people to create surely you're not a single mother right this says when he single mom now single mom. Single moms, man. This is Ace Nate. Thought you being a single mom would make you miserable, but you're thriving on your own. No, I don't know. There's no way, bro. Just ready to have my baby. So many martyrs. Wow, no dude. Well, that's the thing, man. Like, this is why I say all if you're unhappy with your life, man, it's it's because you made bad decisions, you made bad choices. But this is why I always say do not wife baby mamas or single mothers. Just don't do it. It is such a bad deal. Basically what it tells me when I'm a man looking at a single mom is it tells me you already made one bad choice. So you want me to come in and pick up the pieces and play another man's safe game? No, thank you. No, thank you. There's a reason she picked this man to have his child and not submit, not submit to him and be in a relationship with him. Do not save this woman. It's such a headache. You don't have authority over the child. You don't have authority over the family because the child's not even yours. Even if you raise him from an infant, you do not have authority over this child. It's not your child. Unless this woman completely submits to you, then maybe. But even then, this is why I say, guys, don't go for single moms. They may be easy prey, but this is why I say recreational use only, gents. <laughs> Just trying to get in and out like the burger joint. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to wife you. The first man didn't wife you. Why am I going to come and try to save you? I can be your hero, baby. Trying to save nobody. Are we wearing capes? Let's look. Let's look. Y'all see a cape? Loki, do I got a cape? That's what I thought, bro. <laughs> he, he just wants this. Loki, you want a carrot? Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. This man, he only wants me for carrots, dude. He really only wants me for carrots. It's absolutely crazy. I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan & Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. I don't know purses, so I can't say. I just know that the, you said mama's got new purses. 
Oh, okay. Oh. So, Mama, tell me about these purses. What? I, I'm an interior designer, so I have to make sure that I match with everything I wear. Stupid. Okay, and you have to make sure that you have the money to buy that, right? Well, you know, I go bargain shopping. Okay. I, this is, you know, there's a lot of good purses out there, but I, I go shopping for my son, too, so, I mean, I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what he's so saying. So you're saying that your, your son didn't tell him that you took money out of a life insurance policy? No. Well, no, let me ask you this. So. Did you take money out of a life insurance policy? Um, It's maybe? a yes or no. It's not an um. Stupid. Yes, I Okay, know. so he was not lying then. You called him a liar. He's she not took money out of a life insurance policy to buy a bag? <laughs> oh, my Lord. I'm lying about that. You took money out. How much did you take out? $30,000. $30,000 out of a life insurance policy to buy purses? What kind of purses are you buying? A lot of purses. Like what? What kind of bag is that? Thirty grand? Oh, my God. It's a Michael Kors. Okay, you, you, you can't know. spend no thirty grand on no Michael Kors, bro. <laughs> Them purses a hundred dollars at TJ Maxx, bro. Come on, stop it. Well, you obviously came here to waste, waste my, my time. time. Uh -huh. I love it. Mm-hmm. You did. As an interior designer, how much money are you making? I'm not even. I'm not making. A, that was not my reason. question. As an interior designer, how much money are you making? $60,000. $60,000. So you took I'm out a I loan thought. against a life insurance policy. It's crazy that judges talk to these chicks. Like Bro, that's <laughs> wild. Judge Vonda eating her up, though. And see, this is what I'm saying. Like, look at some of these comments, bro. Delusional button. Where is it at? Um, delusional button. <laughs> Purses are more of a priority than her child. That's crazy work. Why am I sensing? Uh, where is it? Why am I sensing she's making more than 60K and isn't even telling the truth? I mean, you probably got a point. Uh, where's this? Michael Kors is at Marshall's for $49.90. That's what I'm saying, bro. Those purses are not worth that much. That's crazy work. Selfish is the word. And she buying more than Michael Kors because the cheapest one is about $200. So she can afford it on her annual sal salary. 30 stacks better be for a house or repaying student loans, bro. She doing something else with that money. There ain't no way she just buying purses. And especially Michael Kors with no 30 grand. Michael Kors purses are not that expensive, boo-boo. Those are 150 bucks at TJ Maxx. What are you even talking about? As a mother, what would make you keep your kids away from the father? I don't know, you got ladies do it all the time, the bargaining chip. Mother, what would make you keep your- I think a lot of single mothers would agree to what I'm about to say. Uh-oh. <laughs> but me as a mother, one reason why my child's father is not allowed around my daughter, once you prove to me that you are a harm to me, you prove to me that you are a harm to your daughter. Uh -huh. Even if you've never laid a finger on her. And on top of that, if you can neglect a woman during her most vulnerable stage in life called pregnancy, you do not need to be around your child. Is she just making up words? <laughs> vulnerable? Huh? What the he What? I feel like I'm kind of smart. Let me go back here. Finger on her. And on top of that, if you can neglect a woman during her most vulnerable stage in life called vulnerable? pregnancy. Does she mean vulnerable? <laughs> am I, uh, Chad, am I stupid? Vulnerable? Is that a new one? Vondable? See, you do not need to be around your child. And I'm saying this. No, you shouldn't have let him bust his seed inside you. Shots fired! Shots fired! That's what fired. it should be. Where's the accountability here? Respect. And not out of bitterness. Because a lot of the time, a lot of people take a single mother's post, twist it to fit their narrative, and call her bitter. You did not say but a lot of mothers, a lot of single mothers are not keeping their kids away from someone. They are protecting their child away from someone who is a harm and who is not a safe place for that child. Then if he's a harm and not a safe place for the child, why did you let him knock you up and have his baby? Does this make sense to you guys? Because Brandon if you can neglect a child- having a heyday. Single mom, <laughs> now you're single. <laughs> Uh, mentally, physically, emotionally, and financially, you do not need to see your kid at all. <laughs> Bro, what? Gentlemen. She requires all those, but didn't require it when she got knocked up by the guy. <laughs> Bro, come on. You can't make this stuff up. The stories write themselves. Here's some of the comments, though. Some of these comments are so good. What is it? Broken women creating broken children in broken homes. Bro, for real. Well, here's, here's my big thing with single moms is single moms have no idea 
how to raise a boy to be a man. Only a man can raise a boy to be a man, man. Come on. That's why we have so much degeneracy. Fatherless homes create most of the degeneracy. 60 to 70 to 80% of the degenerates when it comes to violence, drug abuse, dropouts, robbery, all the theft and things like that, all the drug abuse, all the, the violence, the unalivings, all that stuff comes from fatherless homes. Don't take my word for it. I go over this study all the time that dictates and shows every bit of what I'm saying is true. Like these women are literally creating broken homes. It is so sad because these kids have no freaking shot. So basically she said, is it's all about me. I mean, basically I see a lot of men in these comments didn't have their listening ears on. She never said anything about him not wanting to be with her. She said she's a, or he's abusive and doesn't trust. Like then why have this man's child if he's abusive and you can't trust him? Why would you give him the highest honor? And I think this is what women don't even realize is when you have a man's child, you were giving him the highest honor on this earth. You opened up your womb and your body to this man, gave him a child, but you expect us to come in and pay a higher price for a used vehicle? Stupid. Do you think we're dumb? <laughs> come on. You care about whether a man has a kid or not, if you already got a kid. Your question, line of questioning makes no sense. Well, because you're, no, well, I was referring, I was just, not when the planet to me just in general not. you're saying a woman should have should be childless but most of these men are coming with baby moms that's bullshit yeah but you say that 50 percent is what you're hanging on to because it's the fucking truth but Preach. it's not a hundred it's 50. oh my god so what, are where's you, the other 50 are, are you are you in freaking saying <laughs> I'm you, saying, I mean, you said this I mean, listen to this sick. stupid shit. Listen to this. <laughs> look, listen to this stupid shit. This is some dumb shit now. Now you want to go there, I'm going to go there. Y'all don't even understand how numbers are calculated. There are a portion of the numbers of people who are married in relationships. That's where the kids are supposed to be coming from. Almost 100% of the children in the black community are coming from less than about 20% of the men because y'all go out having babies with everybody that ain't married to nobody. How many, how many children your baby daddy got? Mm, two more. Thank exactly. You. Thank exactly. You. Oh, hi, Kevin. Bro, she walks straight into that. This is what's so crazy to me is all these women go out there and have all these men's kids, and it's like most of the time <laughs> these men have other kids with other women, and you're talking about he ain't nothing. Well, you picked him. Just a lack, the pure lack of accountability with all these single moms. It's like well, that's why I have no sympathy for him. Stepfathers are never respected. It's just the facts mother's child an asset to another man mm, that's a good question i love Come that on, jacket Captain. only in the legacy that she lives and leaves but she's not an asset to me because there's no dna tied to me she's that's nine absolutely. years old she's i am putting into i am that man would be putting into your baby daddy's legacy mm -hmm. i would just be paying it that's a bad investment oh it's your investment, but it's I've been a stepfather. I can't go get the money back that I put into my stepson. But it's it gone. That's why I say never do it. Well, and all the dollars I put into that, ooh. even though it was there, I I have to accept the fact that it didn't go into my daughter's mouth. Right. Because as stepfathers, you have no legal claim. And how many stepchildren? How many times do you see somebody stepping up to get? Taking an award, and they want to say, I, I thank my stepdaddy. <laughs> they always thank their stepmom. <laughs> I want to thank my stepdad for really being there and, you know, blowing my mom's back out. Stop it. And their mother, and, and man, you know how this they goes. They thank mama and they thank God. They never thank the stepdad. Being a stepdad is a thankless job. So, Hit after. You have, to, you have to come in, pick up the pieces and say, hey, you know what? I know you made a horrible choice and I know you had a baby with a man that wasn't worth it, but you know what? I'm gonna say that you're worth it and I'm gonna take on this kid that I have really no legal claim over, I have no authority over, and um, yeah, L let's do it. That sounds just like such a bad deal. She'll go to lunch with someone younger as long as he buys her son summer clothes. What? Did this 27 year old man i could tell maybe he has an apartment or some roommates maybe he lives with his parents but he's at that phase of life you can't afford a woman like me so i agree to what can he afford what used goods shots fired shots fired what is there to afford 
support. He could afford to take me to lunch. So I say, listen, I'll meet you for lunch. My son needs um, new summer clothes, like summer shorts. How about this? I'll meet you for lunch. You can have me for like two hours and we can just on Amazon right there. You can order my son the stuff he wants because you need to practice providing for that child of that single mom that's at your level. So oh, let me help know. you practice. And then I'm going to even coach you through how to have eyes for the woman that you're qualified to be with right now. And then I tell him, she's a at a club, she's a single mom, she probably has one little kid, and these are the things that you wanna look for of being able to tell the good women versus the toxic just who are just career and they're just working you for their money. <laughs> Sorry, but strippers aren't good women, bro. Give it a buck. If you're stripping, you're selling your body for money. I don't consider that good. That's bad. It's been a minute since I've seen That is insanity. Talking about coaching this man on how to be a stepdad. <laughs> She's doing courses. <laughs> She's got courses out. Meet me on uh make sure to make sure to RSVP on my event right on how to be a stepdad. <laughs> Stupid bro, it's so dumb. <laughs> I've seen this lady. This is a based take. I'm pretty sure I think I know what she's going to talk about. Because nobody wants to hear this. Because what you want me to say today is actually being a single mother is totally possible. It actually isn't. No, it's it not. was never meant to happen for no. the human race, number one. Number two, single biggest determiner of whether a mother is a good mother. What do you think it is? This is going to blow your mind. The right husband that she can keep. Whether they have a supportive partner. Mm hmm. The major argument for good dads is actually, can the dad be there for the mom? Because it's like a, a direct chain is what we see. What you see is that if you've got a, a father figure, basically, who's supportive to the mother, the mother's energy goes towards the children. Mm -hmm. But the second that she doesn't have that supportive energy, she collapses, is what happens. And then the kids get starved. And we're not actually supposed to be living in a single family household, so it's supposed to be a lot more support towards mom than just dad but I'm going with standard societal structure. You are a victim of a society that was never meant to work this way. It's the story Preach, that man. It's the whole point of your worth as a wife is about the man that you can keep, the husband that you can procure and the husband that you can keep. Um, let's jump into the Discord now. Shout out to the Discord. You guys have been absolutely blowing up the Discord, so I appreciate you guys. Was, um, let's, let's, this is from Mira Jane. Let's check this one out. You should suck that. That's it. Okay, so I know you're okay, single, okay. but what do you think is the best way for a woman to keep a man? That's very simple. You should cook for him, clean okay. for him. I mean, when he comes back home, comes back home the house has to be clean the dinner has to be ready let me tell you something whenever he's home in the morning in the evening or during even lunchtime you should <laughs> that's it hey, sh hey shout out to that girl bro <laughs> like i always say the three things that men need let me know chat let me know in the comments what are the three things that you need as a man to be happy i'll wait a second before i get back into the discord here i've got the three things that i think but um I want to see what you guys think. I want to see what you guys think. For me, I think it's a full stomach, an empty nut sack, and peace and quiet. Shiba Nanaya should have bought a Honda. That is exactly what we as men need. Let me know, what do you guys think? Man goes viral after he spent $2,000 on his first date with his new boo. Oh my God. Stupid. This is why we have to end this epidemic, dude. The sympodemic needs to freaking end. This is so sad. God, that's sad. I hate to see that. This poor guy. Uh, what is this? Okay, guys. So if you put anything in the Discord, please make sure it doesn't have music behind it, like copyrighted music, because more than likely I'm not going to play it because we'll get copyright strikes. So, um, yeah. Let's see here. Some women have a higher body. Oh, let's see what this one is. Some women have a higher body count. <laughs> Wait, some women have a higher body count because they're afraid to say no when they're put in a situation that involves pressure from a man, but I don't think they are ready for that conversation yet. What? Bro, I do not agree with that. If you don't want to have if you don't want to perform coitus with someone, just say no or don't be in those environments at all. It's much easier to just say, "You know what? I'm not going to go to this frat party with all these men. I'm not going to do that." I think it's a better idea to do that. Um than to say, you know what, all the men are bad, 
A body count of, oh my God, a body count of 200 is normal in 2024 for women. If you don't like it, cry. <laughs> 200? This, woman body's, this woman's body count looking like a cemetery. Shot fired! Shot fired! <laughs> it's absolute insanity. 200? <laughs> 200? Oh my God. No! That is crazy to me, bro. Absolute nutty to me. I can't believe that. 200? That, that's, like, that's like five lifetimes full of bodies right there. There's no way your body count should be that high. Let's get into another video here. It's only dangerous because of men, which is true. So Feminism is only dangerous because of men. Okay. Statistically violent men. Well, that isn't true. Let's get to the root cause of things. Manipulation happens when you focus on the effects and you don't go to the cause. So the root of it is that without a man and you were just here, you would have been eaten by a lion, a tiger and bear. And guess what? If the lions oh and tigers and bears didn't get you, you wouldn't have the ability to gather enough calories for you to last. Mm. Cause a woman can't manipulate the world how a man can. So let me explain to you how a world would operate with only women and only men. When men get together, we know, oh, he's stronger here. He has this skill here. Oh, we'd be operating in a world of surplus. Whereas women would be operating in a deficit completely. Well, and I think the point he's trying to drive home is the, the grip strength ar argument where I think we have, I think it's like 75% more grip strength when it comes to manipulating the world. He says manipulate. I say manipulate, whatever. But being able to craft trees and craft tools and things like that. This, let the best person work this skill and that creates a hierarchy from top mm -hmm. down. When yeah. a woman get together, what you think about, you're all emotional. So you're yeah. tiptoeing all the time and you're looking at the sensitivity levels in this woman and that woman because you know that you are sensitive. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you start looking at everything in an egalitarian sense to equalize everything. You yeah. get two, you get two, you get two, you get two. The men don't operate like that. Did you do enough to get two? Yeah. If facts. you ain't do enough, you're not getting to. You mm -hmm. get zero. Put in that work and then you get that. Mm -hmm. This it's just is like the Bear Grylls, uh, the show from the island. That's exactly what that is. Why on a survival series, men, they was cleaning water fast, building fires fast because they mm -hmm. created that hierarchy. They put the best person in position. Well, this is, this is a, a thing from the saint in the center. He talks about this. When boys are left to unstructured play, they create a hierarchy of a team. There's always a captain, lieutenants, and then people under them, right? So th that way, when there's conflict, the resolution is look up to the hierarchy of the leader come to a common resolution and keep playing the game when girls are left to unstructured play they get into fights and then they just stop playing entirely because women are more egalitarian in that sense where it's more of like a socialist view everybody's the same everybody's equal nobody's the boss nobody tells me what to do whereas men we create hierarchies and that's why we're able to you know come to a conflict and resolution a whole lot faster and if you don't if you don't believe it go watch bear grills the island it is such a such a great show because it really it, it really brings to light the the hypocrisy of women being like we want to be leaders we want to be this we want to be that but when we see them being leaders it just crumbles Female fugi uh, fugitives why is pink collar crime on the rise let's see what this is all about and I think you'll see what I'm getting at here. Of course, it starts by punching at men. This holds men true. Men commit more crimes than women do a lot more. This holds true over time and across cultures. In America, the incarceration capital of the world, more than 2 million detainees. Males, comp uh, males comprise 93% of the prison population. Men also account for 73% of all arrests and 80% of those charged. Over time and across cultures. Good Lord, that is a pretty high. Uh, men also account for 70. Uh, let's see. The disparity between the sexes is particularly stark when it comes to murder. 90% of the time, the ones who do the are men all these numbers add up to what criminologists call the gender gap why aren't we seeing why aren't we seeing more equality when it comes to um uh men being arrested <laughs> ladies why aren't you coming up out of the woodwork and saying you know what more women need to be arrested um that's what we need to see this is crazy this is absolutely nutty to me let's get to this chick i think i think i've seen this clip where this chick i think she's yagging some stuff she's stealing she's stealing oh she's stealing do you have stuff in your coat right now Employees said they saw you stuff stuff from your basket into your jacket. No, I just put all my stuff back because I was supposed to meet my other half here and he never showed up. I just tried calling him. Okay, so if we search your jacket, we're not going to find any items? I'll give you an opportunity right now to take everything out. But it's going to be your one and only opportunity. Okay, fine. I have a hat and gloves. All right, there we go. It's just cold outside. I don't have any money and I just want a hat and gloves. You don't have hat or gloves? I'll buy these for her. 
Thank you, sir. But don't, don't do this, okay? Bro, uh, yeah. I mean, shout out to the cop. <laughs> um, oops, sorry, I meant to hit that one. <laughs> shout out to the cop for paying for it, like... But at the end of the day, if it was a man, they would have just arrested him. <laughs> what the hell was that? Um, what is this chick talking about? What is this chick talking about? It's hysterical. We mean he's a funny, funny man. Yet when we describe a woman as hysterical, we mean she's hysterical. Why is that? I'll show you. Completely odd. Um... I don't know. There's multiple meetings to one word. Let's see. The effects of divorce has on some men. Let's see what this clip's all about. My wife informed me that she wants a divorce. and I left just to... Keep the peace. Keep the peace, and I'm still here. The locks... I went back the next day, and the locks were changed. And I've been on the streets for about 30 years. <sighs> and uh, the reason why I've become homeless is... Uh, me and my wife got a crucial divorce. Bad marriage, uh, I just a broken heart and hit the street. And my wife getting a divorce. Family, one minute they want you to stay, a week go by, time to leave again. So it's just very difficult. Well, I went through a bad divorce, lost everything I had, and moved out here to start over. Went to the doctors, and doctors took me out of work because I got rheumatoid arthritis and mm -hmm. my uh, liver is failing. Lost my house, my kids, my car to a violent relationship. A broken marriage. Relationship? <clears throat> yeah. Lost it. I have emotional issues I couldn't deal with. Car broke down. Ran into the wrong people at the wrong time. Got robbed. Mm -hmm. Lost pretty much everything. A divorce. Uh, then I rented a room. And then I came down with epilepsy and started having seizures, and the guy didn't want me there. And the next guy I knew I was in a assisted living house. This is the sad reality for a lot of men out there right now. This is why I say men are the true romantics. Chat, let me know. Let me know if you agree. I think men are the true romantics because we will choose to keep the peace and compromise something that would benefit us over being egotistical and selfish and saying, you know what, this is what I want. This is why I think men are the true romantics. We will go and marry a chick on fries at Burger King, but a woman would never marry a man on fries at Burger King, ever. Ever, 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 ever. Uh, we've, we've seen some videos where a chick talks about, he's like, all right, let's say your man is down bad. How many months you giving him to get back on his feet? She's like, uh, maybe six months, bro. Men will take care of women forever. This is why it's so important that you have to pick the right woman. There's so many bad apples out there. But as a man, we have to strive to be the best we can possibly be because women are hypergamous in nature. This goes back to yesterday's episodes, talking about we need to be the leaders in our, in our relationships, the leaders in our family, the leaders in our friends group, friend groups. We have to exude all of the qualities that we want everyone else to have. We have to take accountability for it because if you want your woman to take accountability, you have to be the first one to take accountability for anything that happens. Be the change you want to see, Dalai Lama. That's why you have to hold yourself to the highest standard in your household if you want anybody else to meet you there. You have to have the most discipline. You have to have the, the, the strongest belief systems. You have to be you know, the most opinionated. You have to know what you're talking about. You have to be able to back up the things that you say. Like You have to be the most educated, the strongest, the fastest, the most in shape. Like You have to be everything. The pinnacle of what you want in your family, you have to be that. Because if you set that standard and it trickles down, you gotta think, if you're 10X what everybody else is, Everybody's 10x less than you, which might not be super great, but you have to be the absolute best. And if you're not, how do you expect anybody to follow suit? If you're overweight, you're a slob, you don't take your job serious, you don't work hard. Why should a woman look up to you if you don't work hard? You're a slob, you're overweight, you don't take care of your body. Why would a woman want to look up to you? Women are hypergamous. They want the best of the best. A woman needs to be fearful that she would lose you every day if she doesn't, you know, you dot her eyes and cross her T's. It's just as simple as that, man. You have to hold yourself to a higher standard. That's why I say let's end the simpidemic. Us as men, we have to do better. Stop paying for girls to do the bare minimum. If no man, like I think OnlyFans, OnlyFans creators made like four or six billion dollars this past year. They made more than the freaking NBA. It's from simps paying for this stuff. We have to stop paying for it. 
Go out and be the best version of yourself. Three things you can do to unbuck your life today. Listen to As a Man Thinketh by James Allen on Spotify. It's a free ebook. Go listen to it two times a day for a month. You'll change your life. Go get in the gym. Eat better food. Simple as that. Whole food diet. Meat, veggies, fruit. Simple. And you want a fourth one? Consume better content. Watch the Levi Nick show. Because the thing is, nobody that watches this stuff, we ain't being a hero to no stepmama. I can be your hero, baby. And if you really want to learn, really want to learn how to like transform your life in the easiest way possible, go get the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. Some selling like hotcakes. It's super short and sweet. It's only 10 pages. But it, that book will make you irresistible to women and respected by men. It's the easiest way to unbuck your life. Go get the ebook. It's in the description. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? He's a tired boy. He had his carrot. He's loving life. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.